In this video, we're going to go over a simple and easy mnemonic device for software assurance during acquisition. This is part of Domain 8 of the CISSP curriculum, or what's known as the Common Body of Knowledge. For this video, I'm going to assume that you've already read your book and that you know what the phases of software assurance during acquisition are. If not, we'll cover it briefly in this video for those of you who aren't aware of it yet. So without further ado, let's get into the mnemonic device for this. So the phrase I want you to think of as we go over this is, the PC is mad at us. And I want you to burn this image in your mind. Why is the PC mad? What did we do to it? The thing to remember about these mnemonics is that no matter how silly they are, they help us to remember the most difficult difficult concepts during the exam. Software assurance during acquisition is a bit of a complicated one because you'll need to know what happens during the phases. So let's dig into this a bit because the actual mnemonic is going to be a bit more challenging, but this image will get us started. So the letters we're going to use are these, and some of them will be clumped together as we'll show here. It's going to be P followed by C, then MAD for MAD, and then followed by O-U-S, and lastly, F-O. And the phrase is, the PC is mad at us, fo, or for. And I realize this is bad English, but my take on this is, for the O-U-S, you can think about it or pronounce it with a British accent, right? Mad at us. And the fo is kind of a stylized way of just saying for without pronouncing the R. So here is what these letters actually stand for. And these are the letters and letter clumping that you'll write down on your memorization sheet. If you're not sure what a memorization sheet is, be sure to check out our other video that covers exactly what it is and how to use it. So P is for the planning phase, C is for the contracting phase, and then we have the letters MAD, which stand for Monitoring, Acceptance, and Deployment, and that's one phase. Those aren't separate phases there. That's why they're colored in the light blue. Then we have OUS, which is also a phase, which stands for Ongoing Use and Support. That's why I've colored them green. And lastly, we have the follow-on phase, which is one phase. So we have five total. If you're like me and you need help memorizing what actually happens, like what activities happen in these phases, stick around because I've got an extra mnemonic device for each one of these phases. So before each of these activities, you're going to want to ask the question from the very first slide. The PC is mad at us for, and you're going to have a question mark there. Why is the PC mad at us, right? The PC is mad at us for, and the answer will be revealed in the letters for each activity in the phase. And so before each phase, you're going to ask that question. And for the sake of making this mnemonic work, just assume for this slide that you're working for a food manufacturer. So for the planning phase, we're going to say the phrase, no more running away, return on investment, reveals donuts as profitable as blue egg cheese. Now, if you think logically about it, obviously this phrase doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's goofy enough and you'll remember blue egg cheese. Your actual keywords here are going to be identifying needs. So we've got needs here, measuring the magnitude of effort for the project, conducting risk assessments on both the project and not doing the project, alternatives or alternative solutions, ROI is going to be the same, return on investment, the R is going to be for requirements or identifying requirements, D is for deciding on the contract deliverables, and the AS is our acquisition strategy, and the BEC is our bid evaluation criteria. For the contracting phase mnemonic, We'll ask the question from the first slide again. The PC is mad at us for, and the answer will be in the letters. The PC is mad at us for running from people, especially people that are furious. So the, that R is going to go in parentheses there. What these letters represent are request for proposal. This is where the request goes out to the public for anyone that can handle the needs. This includes statements of work, terms and conditions, any certifications or pre-qualification conditions. EP is for evaluating the proposals, and that's exactly what it implies. You're evaluating the proposals submitted by respondents to the RFPs. Finalizing refers to finalizing the contract negotiations. Software risks can be mitigated through changing the terms and conditions of the contract in this phase. For the monitoring, acceptance, and deployment phase, we'll again ask the question, the PC is mad at us for, and we're going to say it's mad at us for socializing casually on the couch for the double C and accepting defeat for the AD. The S stands for establishing a contract work schedule. So the S is for schedule. The CC stands for implementing change control procedures. And the AD stands for accepting deliverables, which 
also kind of implies that they would be reviewed in this subphase or this activity. With the ongoing use and support phase, we'll ask the PC is mad at us for, and we'll say simply something dumb. The PC is mad at us for something dumb. And the S stands for sustainment, which involves ongoing use and maintenance. And the D is for disposal and decommissioning. The follow-on phase has really only one activity, but we'll use the MR and the AC together to remember what happens. Again, the PC is mad at us for, and we'll respond with my repaired air conditioning. But we're going to add the prefix un so that the PC is mad at us for our unrepaired air conditioning. The MR stands for managing risks and the AC stands for analyzing the assurance case. That might be a term you see on the exam. So how would you actually use this mnemonic and how would you copy it to your memorization sheet? Well, let's walk through this together. Take a minute to copy this down or maybe pause the video and take a screenshot so you can just paste it to your memorization sheet. Once this table is on the memorization sheet, you're going to copy everything by hand except the mnemonic itself. Copy it 50 times, copy it 100 times, as many times as it takes for you to burn this into memory. While you're writing this down, you're going to say the mnemonic in your head, and let me see if I can put a little mini window here to show what I mean. And again, if you're not familiar with the concept of memorization sheet, please watch our other video that walks you through the whole process. So here we go. Let's assume you've copied this table onto your memorization sheet. In order to memorize things, you're gonna copy them down from your sheet by hand over and over. So we'll start with just the letters. You don't need to copy the column headers here. Just start with the phases and copy as is. Skip the middle column. So we're gonna start here with the P and then we're gonna move down and put the C here and then we're gonna go down and put M A D. Skip down a little bit and put O U S. Skip down a little bit and put F O. And this is your question that you're gonna ask before each activity. So the PC is mad at us for, and then under the P, you're going to write planning, and then you're going to put N, you're going to say the phrase in your mind, N-M-R. So you're going to write the letters N-M-R, and you're going to think to yourself, no more running away. Return on investment reveals donuts as profitable as blue egg cheese. And then you're going to say, okay, the PC is mad at us for, and you're going to continue on down, running from people, especially people that are furious. Moving on down, the PC is mad at us for socializing, casually on couch, accepting defeat. Moving on down, the PC is mad at us for something dumb. And lastly, the PC is mad at us for my repaired or unrepaired air conditioning. Now you're going to move over and write the common body of knowledge translations here. P is for planning, start with the phases here, C is for contracting, M is for monitoring, acceptance, and deployment, and so on and so forth. I don't think I need to complete this. Hopefully you get the idea. And you're going to copy this whole thing over and over until it's burned into memory. That's it for this lesson. I hope you learned something, and I hope this mnemonic is helpful. Please take a minute to subscribe to our channel and visit cissprep.net, where we have over 1,500 practice questions in the style of the real exam. We also have a free memorization sheet, a study guide, and some helpful study tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.